you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That the Bible said that we, with open face, beholding us in the glory of God, in the, in the glass, the glory of the Lord, and are transformed into the same image, even from glory to glory, as by the Spirit of the Lord. So this is what David was saying in the Psalm. Mm -hmm. When I behold your face in righteousness, the more I look at you, the more I become like you. The more I see you in the world, I meditate on you. Praise the Lord. I was reading today that when Moses was in the mountain, the Bible said he was with the Lord. And he came back, he knew not that his face was shining. I follow what I'm saying. He was with the Lord. In the mountain. By the time he came back, he came back with the glory of the Lord in his face. Yes. That's what that Simon said. Mm. And Moses, as, a, as God's personal representative, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, Hallelujah. stayed with God mm. and God rubbed on him. Mm. And he came down mm. with God shining in his face. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 With God what? Shining in his face. I want to give you that scripture so that you write it down. Write it down just in case. Exodus. Praise the Lord. Exodus 34, from verse 25. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So let's read it from 30, 32. And afterward, all the children of Israel came now, and he gave them a commandment, all that the Lord has spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil up until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel, that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses that the skin of Moses' face shone, and Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went out to speak to them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, and uh, let's read 29 also. Tw verse 29. Yes, 29 I was looking for. Verse 29. The Bible said, and it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mountain, and Moses knew not, wist not, that his skin of his face had shown why he talked with him. So while he was speaking with God, mm. praise the Lord, God's face was shining on him. God's glory was shining on him. He came down with that same glory. Amen? So, we need to spend time with God in meditation. Go back to Act of Apostle 9 15. Praise the Lord. God said to Adonias, Go to Saul and pray for Saul. And Adonias said, Oh Lord, I heard that that guy is a butcher, killing Christians. How can I go to him? God said to Adonias, Don't worry. Amen? He said, it's a choosing. But the Lord said to him, go thy way. For he's a choosing vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. He's a choosing vessel unto me to bear my name. Is somebody hearing me? He's a choosing vessel unto me. Let's read the Amplified. But the Lord said to him, go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine. To bear my name. Let's underline that word. That's what I wanted to say. 
to bear my name. Amen? Amen. To bear my, my name. name. What does it mean to bear his name? Amen? Amen. What does it mean to bear his name? He said, it's a choosing vessel unto me. To bear my name. To bear my name. To bear my name. To bear my name. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. Say, I'm a choosing instrument. To, to bear the name of Christ. So he was saying, he's my personal representative. Say, I am, I am. a choosing vessel. I am, I am. You are not saying it with conviction. Say it with conviction. Say, I am, I am. a choosing vessel. To bear the name of Christ. Before the nations. Before kings. And before the descendants of Israel. I am to bear the name of Jesus before nations. Before kings. Before Irish. Before European. Before African. Praise the Lord. You are Christ personal representative. In your neighborhood, you are Christ personal representative. In your community, you are Christ personal representative. In all that you do, wherever you are, this is why we must not blend in as grasshopper in the grass. God expects us to stand out. Amen? Amen. Always and at all times. Amen. Praise the Lord. God expects his children to be his children. Amen? Amen? Don't ever compromise. Whatever you compromise to keep, you will lose. Amen. It's like that. Whatever you compromise to keep, you will eventually lose. Amen? Amen. So it's better to wait on the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, I'm a choosing instrument to bear the name of the Lord. Go to Acts 15, verse 14. It says, Simon has declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Amen? Amen. This is in the, in the council of Jerusalem, when they were debating, when Paul and, and Silas came back, and Barnabas, they came back to tell the church how the Lord is using them. Amen? Amen. And they said, yes, of the truth, we have seen. Mm -hmm. Samuel had declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. See, God has taken me out of the world to be a people for his name. A person for his name. See, I'm a person for his name. We are a people for his name. Underline that. So this is why we are called Christians. We are Christians. And and. A, 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 a British man is a Briton. Amen. <laughs> a one born in Ireland, an Irish man is born an Irish. Praise the Lord. We are in Christ. We bear the name of Christ. That is why we are called Christians. Amen. It's Christ. Christians. We are Christish. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's important that we think like this. Amen. That God took me out of the world mm. to be a people, to be a person for his name. So I bear the name of the Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? Put the amplifier. We are people. For his name. The amplified 14. Samuel Peter has realized how God first visited the Gentiles to take out of them a people to bear and honor his name. Hello? A people to bear and honor his name. See, I'm choosing to bear the name of Christ, to honor the name of Christ. So, that is, how do you honor the name of Christ? In word and in deed. In appearance, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
in word, in deed, and in appearance. Does my appearance honor the name of Christ? Praise the Lord. Does my words honor the name of Christ? Does my deed honor the name of Christ? Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, God chooses us to bear and honor the name of Christ. Amen? Amen. So, you see that no wonder in 2 Timothy 2, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 19. It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. Having this seed, what, what seed? Super inscription. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The seal of the Lord is upon me. Amen. 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 The trademark of Christ is upon me. How do you know Maduna? With the the mark. Amen? Amen. How do you know uh, Burger King? Praise the Lord. How do you know KFC? Praise the Lord. Amen. They are brand. Say I'm branded. I'm branded. I'm branded by Christ. Christ. To represent Christ. Wherever I go. Whatever I do. I should not be ashamed of Christ. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. So we must not be ashamed of Christ. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you. So I'm Christ's personal representative. This is what a living sanctuary is. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen? So we have to put behind your name CPR Eunice. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. CPR Mercy. Praise the Lord. CPR Ahimari. Praise the Lord. Christ's personal representative. Praise the Lord. Put it on your CV. Praise the Lord. Uh, a guy that was doing evangelism, praise the Lord, and they were questioning him. They said, you are not educated, how come you are You are, you are trying to talk to us? He said, who told, who told you I'm not educated? The other guy was telling me of his degree. This is the, they said, okay, let me tell you my degree. I have a degree in BA. He said, what is that? He said, born again. <laughs> of course. And I have a master class. It's, 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 is 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 MOD. I say I have a doctor degree. Say DOD. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> doctor over demons. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, I have a master degree. Yes, sir. What is your master degree? A master over 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 all circumstances. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So. We need to know. The Bible said, having this seed, the Lord knows them that are here. And let everyone that name it the name of Christ. Are you following what I'm saying? No, no, uh, yeah, we, we know that, but what I want us to focus on is name the name of Christ. The reason why, why should you depart from iniquity? If you do not know that you are named by Christ, you cannot depart from iniquity. The only way that, that will make me depart from iniquity is that because I'm conscious of the fact that I'm named by the name of Christ. I'm Christ's personal representative. So I watch what I do because others are watching what I do. Praise the Lord. So the reason why most people compromise and no bold to profess Christ wherever they are is because they are afraid that their actions might be traded, that their speech might be traded. It's better to declare forward who you are mm -hmm. and let people hold you to that standard. Mm -hmm. Even when you make mistakes, mm -hmm. they still, they still have, we will not talk, you're, you're, I'm not perfect yet. I'm, it does not mean that I'm no longer a child of God. Mm -hmm. It does not mean I'm no longer sipping out. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. So, 
He said, let everyone that is named by the name of Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. I am named by the name of Christ. But the, but the firm foundation laid by God stands sure and unshaken, bearing DC inscription. I have a divine inscription. A divine that, is, that is God's trademark. That's right. The trademark of God over us is His Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen? The trademark of the believer in Christ is what? Is who? The Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The trademark is the Holy Spirit. We are seen by the Spirit. The seal of the Spirit is upon us by the Spirit that we are children of God. He said, His Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So without the Holy Spirit, if any man have not the Holy Spirit, the Bible said, is none of Christ. Praise the Lord. So I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So I'm full of the Holy Spirit. So I'm overflowing of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. I think that's one of our challenges. Some of us, we have the Holy Spirit, but we are not full of the Holy Spirit. Some are on that bottle full. But we want to be full of the Spirit. And where manifestation is, the Bible says, Paul, full of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, uh, Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost. It's when you get to that full position, that's where manifestation comes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we need to stay in the presence of God, stay in the word of God, amen. Stay in prayer, stay in live a fasted, a, a fasted life. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 To stay full of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a gift. It's freely given to us. Amen. But maintaining the level, the degree of the fullness is our dedication and consecration. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen? As we yield to him. Amen. As we defer to him. Amen. As we submit to him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord knows those who are his. Mm -hmm. Nobody can fool him. Mm -hmm. And let everyone who name himself by the name of the Lord give up all iniquity mm -hmm. and stand alone for me. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I am named by the name of the Lord. Let's just read that through. Praise the Lord. The next verse. What did it say? But in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and earth. And some to honor and some to dishonor. Now, this is what Mercy was explaining to us. This is the difference between Aaron and, and Moses. Aaron was partial, partially yielded. Moses was fully yielded. You see that? So, we don't want to be partial in our devotion. We want to be full in our devotion. Praise the Lord. So, in the great, he said, there are some to honor, there are some to dishonor. So, who decide whether a vessel is a, a vessel of honor or a vessel of dishonor? No. It's we that decide. It's the vessel that decides. You see that? But in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. God's house is a great house. The, you decide the vessel you be. As far as God, God has made, made us a glorious vessel. But how do you manifest? Amen? We are made a golden vessel. We are made a glorious vessel. Are you following what I'm saying? But your manifestation can be in honor or dishonor. Not in your, not in your spirit, man, but in your manifestation, in your soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, but in the grace of the vessel of honor, are, so now the condition, verse 21 tells us. Verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself from this, see the condition? If a man, so it's up to me to part myself mm -hmm. from anything that will make me a wooden vessel. Mm -hmm. It is up to me to part myself from anything that will make me a vessel of dishonor. Mm -hmm. And what it is? What is it? Unyieldedness, mm -hmm. disobedience. Mm -hmm. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Sin. Amen. He said, if any man therefore purge himself from this sin, he told us these things. He shall be a vessel unto honor. That's what I want to be. A vessel of honor for God. A vessel of honor for God. Sanctify holy that I might be. A vessel of honor for God. He said, he shall be a vessel Unto honor, sanctified, that means set aside. And meet suitable for the master's use. I want to be a honorable vessel. I want to be a sanctified vessel. I want to be a suitable vessel. What kind of vessel do you want to be? Then God lifts up your right hand and says, Lord, I want to be a vessel of honor, a sanctified vessel, a suitable, suitable vessel for the master's use. What are we talking about? I'm, a, I'm Christ's personal representative. I bear the name of Christ and I want to be used of him. Praise the Lord. And prepared unto every good work. Available for every service. I was reading today by Bezalia. Praise the Lord. The guy that God anointed with the spirit of wisdom. Everything about the temple, the guy designed. What a wisdom. I said, Lord, I need one. Just one Basilea. Praise the Lord. Just one Basilea. Amen. Everything that God gave to Moses, he designed all of them. Of course, there are others working, but it was the master brain behind. Say, Lord, make me a Bessalia. Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. To serve in your kingdom. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse 22. He said, Free also youthful lust. Why? Youthful lust will make you a vessel of this one. That's right. But follow. Righteousness. These are the things that makes us a vessel of honor. Mm. Righteousness. Faith. He said, he, he said, follow. Flee from lust. Run. Mm. Don't hang around him. Don't attach yourself to someone. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm. The flesh seeks for, you know, desire lust. Mm. You must flee. You must avoid it. You must run. Why? Because you are running for your destiny. Amen. Praise the Lord. When Joseph was running, he was not running from uh, Potiphar's wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He was actually running for his destiny. That's right. Escape for thy life. <laughs> because he knew that that act would destroy his destiny. That's right. And he knew that his Christ personal representative. That's right. He knew that he was heading for the palace. And he was not going to mess himself up. Praise the Lord. And can you imagine the babe they gave to Jesus? The babe that was specially prepared. The lady that was specially prepared. The princess of honor. Praise the Lord. Amen? A virgin. Rather than messed up with the old woman. So God always keeps the best for those who wait for him. He said, flee also youthful Lord. But follow righteousness, faith, faith charity, charity, peace. peace. With them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. heart. This is what makes us a vessel of all of us. Meet for the master's seat. As Christ's personal representative, you have to flee youthful lust. You, what is youthful lust? There are things that youth thinks are cool. That's what I said. One of the deadliest words available in this generation, to our younger ones, cool. is that word cool. Mm -hmm. Because cool blinds all things. Even the things that are bad, cool. they use cool. Mm -hmm. The things that the Bible says are ungodly and abomination, they cool. say it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not cool. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think they should have invited. I think the days of Michael Johnson was better. We, so that we see them say, You are bad, you are bad. I know it, you are bad. <laughs> 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 I 
Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Why does the devil want to engage our children's mind on pornography? Mm. It's to mark their mind. That's right. Mm. It's to damage their mind. Mm. And if, if a child does not flee from it, it can have, if, if you get hooked on pornography, mm. it can spoil your life and your destiny. Yes. That, what, that, that's exactly what the devil wants. Yes. Amen? Amen? That's the that's what the devil wants. And that is why a lot of people marry breaks up. A lot of people divorce. They cannot enjoy their marriage. And how does people become uh, gay and all that? Some of them they are exposed to porn. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is one of the deadliest, deadliest weapons Satan is using. It starts from that. I move to something else. Yes, Amen. So that is why we must. Come. It's youthful lust. The Bible says all that is in the world is lost. The lust of the heart. The lust of the flesh and the pride of life. Praise the Lord. He said, but we don't want that. What we want in our heart is the love of the Father. Say, I choose the love of the Father. Say, I repent of pride. I repent of lust. I renounce the lust of the eye. The lust of the flesh. A youthful lust. I renounce them. I choose the love of the Father in my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, We follow after righteousness. So I'm a personal representative. One more scripture, then we'll run. 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I want just to. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 17. Let's take it from there. Praise the Lord. The Bible said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Why is it? Why is he a new creature? Because he's Christ's personal representative. All things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to him by Jesus Christ, and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Hello? Amen. Stay there. He said, All things are of God, all things belong to God, who has reconciled us by Jesus Christ and has given up to us the ministry. Say, I have, I have the, ministry the ministry of reconciliation. Of reconciliation. What does that mean? It is my responsibility to represent Christ and bring souls to Christ. That's what he's talking about. So know, to wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not reputing their trespasses unto them. And has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So you can see now, we have the ministry of reconciliation. The word ministry is service. We have the service of reconciliation. How do we do it? We have the word of reconciliation. Can you see it? Verse 18 talks about the last phrase. Go back to 18. It says, all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of Underline that ministry of reconciliation. We have ministry of reconciliation, service of reconciliation, our responsibility, stewardship. Amen. Verse 19 says, To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not repeating their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation, which is the gospel. Amen. Say, it is my responsibility to share Christ to my generation. It says, verse 20, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he has made him to be seen for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Verse 20 again. What, who is an ambassador? Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 19 of Amp. Put it in the amp, Amplified Version. Sorry, verse 20. Verse 20. What did he say? Let's read together. Let's read together. Verse 20. Let's read together. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God making his appeal as it were through us. We, as Christ's personal representatives, beg you for his sake to lay hold of the divine favor now offered you and be reconciled to God. 
Say, I'm Christ's personal representative. I'm Christ's personal representative. You see that? That is who an ambassador is. Mm. Ambassador is the one who represents his country in a nation. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen? So we are here and we represent heaven. Amen. We represent Christ. Amen. Say, I'm Christ's ambassador. Christ ambassador. ambassador. You represent Christ. That's who a living sanctuary is. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, let's think like this, talk like this, walk like this. Praise the Lord. Amen. And as ambassadors of Christ, you have ambassadorial immunity. Amen. In other words, there are, there are privileges due you when you begin to function as an ambassador. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. We are in the world. We are not of the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Heaven is responsible for us. But we have to be responsible to heaven. Amen. 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 So, be a yielded vessel. Know that God's plan for you is better than your plan. For you. Know that God's thought for you is a good thought. Know that God wants the best for you. Don't come to God and tell him what you want. Come to God and ask Him what He has for you. Because what He has for you is better than what you want. Hallelujah. So let's stand on our feet as we celebrate God. Thank you for the word you have heard. Thank you for the verses that God has used to speak to, uh, to, 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 to speak to you this evening. And ask the Lord to, to keep this truth in the imagination of your heart forever. Ask the Lord to that the world become, become flesh in your spirit. Father, we just thank you for your word we have heard. We receive your word with meekness and gladness of heart. Father, we pray this evening that you keep this truth in the imagination of our heart forever. Lord, we yield ourselves to you. We declare that we are yielded vessel to represent you. As Christ's personal representative, we present ourselves a living sacrifice, pure and holy, which is our reasonable service. We refuse to be conformed to this world. We choose to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. That we may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But I will surrender to you. Have your way. But I pray for everyone that the sound of my voice. I pray that the discouraged be encouraged. I pray that the weak be strengthened. I pray that the downcast be uplifted. And I pray that the sick be healed. And I pray that the bound be loose. I pray that for your divine intervention in every life, sir. I pray that the deaf hear the blind see. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone under the torment and oppression of the enemy be set free now by the power of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, sir. We pray that your mighty hand be released. Stretch over your people. We ask that the yoke of hell be broken. We ask that the yoke of hell be broken off mine. In the name of Jesus. We release your power. We release your hand of faithfulness. We release your covenant blood to speak for your people. Now and forevermore. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with us. And I pray if you're watching me now, if you, if you have not made Jesus your Lord, or if you will watch this later, and you have not made Jesus your Lord, and you want to make Jesus your Lord, say after me, it is important that you do that because we live in a dangerous time. Right. No one is safe anywhere else but in the hand of Jesus. Amen. So you have to be sure you are born again. Amen. Jesus said you must be born Amen. again. So if you want to be born again, say after me, dear Jesus, I believe you died for my sin on the cross. And I believe you are the Messiah who came to die for me. And I repent of my sins. And I ask you to forgive my sins. And I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I declare today that I renounce sin. I renounce the world. And I renounce the devil. And I take up my cross to follow you all the days of my life. I surrender to you. And I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. And all the days of my life, I will live for you. And I will do for you. So help me. Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. 
That the power of God come upon you. That the hand of the devil be broken over your life. That the spirit of God rest on you. And make your confession a reality. And may the spirit of God direct you to where he needs you to be. I declare the power of God broken over your life. I declare you healed and accepted. In Jesus' mighty name, we cover you with the blood of the Lord. And to everyone watching, I declare the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord shine his face on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace always by all means. Now may the God of peace direct your heart into love and patience as you wait for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And may the God of peace sanctify you whole. May your spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Faithful is who has called you who also will do it. And I pray now, may the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, may he make, may he make you perfect in every good work to do his will. May the Lord himself walk in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. to whom be glory, forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. you are blessed.